Prayer is the act of addressing God. It is the exercise of the will and intellect, asking for what is just and honorable. May this morning bring the renewal of our minds and hearts. Each new day we have the chance to rise above earthly concerns and connect with the divine through prayer. May we always seek what is just and honorable, remembering that with God by our side there is no storm we cannot face. If you wish to strengthen your faith and find daily words of encouragement and hope, subscribe to our channel now. Together, we can walk a path of closer proximity to God. I now invite you to join me in prayer, raising our hearts and minds in search of the Divine Presence. May we together grow in faith and love for God. O Almighty God, in whom I trust completely, I raise my voice this morning to praise and seek you. You are my fortress and my refuge, the foundation upon which I build my life. In you, O Jesus, I find the certainty that there is nothing to fear. With each dawn, my heart fills with gratitude for your infinite goodness and mercy. As it is written in the psalm, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my God, my refuge, my fortress, and in Him I will trust. These words echo in my soul, reminding me that under your protection I find secure rest, and my spirit is renewed by your constant and unchanging presence. This dawn I recall your greatness and power, which were fully manifested when you faced temptations in the desert. Just as you rejected each trial with the wisdom of the Scriptures, teach me, Lord, to do the same through your example and your word, which is true and living. In Matthew, you answered the tempter saying, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. This sublime example of resistance and faithfulness to the word of God is a beacon that illuminates my path, guiding me through darkness and difficulties. May your word always be a lamp to my feet and a light to my path as declared in Psalm 119. Dear Savior, by your word I have been taught that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from your mouth. May this truth resonate in my heart and mind, nourishing me more than earthly food ever could. As I contemplate your words, I find the spiritual sustenance that keeps me firm and unwavering. In Deuteronomy we learn that He humbled you, allowed you to hunger, and fed you with manna which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Just as the manna in the desert, your word is the heavenly food that nourishes my soul and strengthens my spirit. With the sunrise I ask that your Holy Spirit illuminate me with the understanding of the Holy Scriptures. May I, like you, combat the wiles of the enemy with the power of your word always ready and effective. In John, you promised, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. May this promise be fulfilled in my life today, filling me with divine wisdom and spiritual discernment. May the Holy Spirit be my guide and counselor, illuminating every step I take and revealing the profound and eternal truths contained in your scriptures. Strengthen me, O Christ, so that I can face each challenge of this day with the certainty that you are with me. Teach me to depend completely on you, trusting that you are able to sustain me in all circumstances. In Philippians, we find the encouraging affirmation, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. These words are a constant reminder that, regardless of the trials and tribulations I face, your strength is sufficient to enable me to overcome all difficulties. May I never forget that you are my rock and my salvation, and in you I find the strength necessary to persevere and triumph. May I always remember your faithfulness, as promised in Isaiah, that you, Lord, hold my right hand and tell me not to fear, for you help me. This promise is the rock where I anchor my hope and courage. When the storms of life threaten to overwhelm me, may I remember that you are my sustainer and protector. In Joshua you command us. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. May these words echo in my heart, inspiring me to move forward with confidence and faith, knowing that your presence is always with me. Today, may my faith be renewed and my trust strengthened. May I testify of your love and grace to all who cross my path, 
Surround me with your divine protection and let your angels guard me in all my steps. Psalm 91 declares, For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. May these words be fulfilled in my life today, providing me with the assurance that I am under your constant watch and that your angels are encamped around me, ready to protect and guide me. Jesus, bread of life, nourish my hungry soul with your presence. Quench my thirst with the waters that flow from your spirit, for in you, and only in you, do I find true satisfaction and fullness. In John, you declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. May these words be the truth that defines my existence, continuously reminding me that only in you do I find the true spiritual nourishment that sustains and fills all aspects of my life. May my quest for your presence be unceasing, and may I find in you the comfort and satisfaction my soul so deeply longs for. Give me the strength to resist the temptations that come with the vain promises of this world. May I cling firmly to the truth of your word, finding in it liberation and the path to resistance. In 1 Corinthians we are assured, No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind, and God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. May these words be a bulwark in my mind and heart, reminding me that your faithfulness is my safe refuge and that you always provide the means to escape and withstand the enemy's snares. As I face adversities, remind me that through your grace I am more than a conqueror. Help me to remember that, according to 1 Corinthians, you will not allow me to be tempted beyond what I can bear, and that, with the temptation, you will also provide a way out. In Romans we find the triumphant declaration, yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. May this certainty invade my being, strengthening me amidst difficulties and constantly reminding me that your grace is sufficient to lead me to victory over all trials and challenges. Christ Jesus, you are my refuge and my strength, an ever-present help in trouble. As proclaimed in the psalm, there is no need to fear, for you are the defense of my life. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? These words are a powerful reminder that, regardless of the threats and dangers that may arise, you are my infallible protector, my shield and fortress. May I find in you the security and comfort needed to face any adversity with unshakable courage and faith. For all these things, I thank you and praise you, recognizing your sovereignty and eternal love. You are worthy of all glory and in your powerful name I place my life in this day. In 1 Thessalonians we are exhorted, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. May my heart always be filled with gratitude, recognizing your loving hand in every detail of my life and praising you for your countless blessings and undeserved grace. In the name of Jesus, my Savior and Lord, I offer this prayer. May it reflect my heart's desire to be ever closer to you. Amen. May these words rise to your throne as a pleasing incense, and may my life be a constant testimony of your goodness and faithfulness. May every moment of this day be lived in your presence, and may I be an instrument of your peace and love in all I do. May my voice echo your voice, and my actions be an extension of your love. May my heart remain always in tune with yours, seeking your counsel and direction in every decision I make. May my heart always align with your will, and may I live for your glory. Amen.